Welcome back to another episode of the Youth Academy Career Mode here on FC24 with Wakefield Juniors. We currently sit 13th in the championship. We are nine points behind Burnley after a up and down month of December. We lost against Sheffield United. We won against, I don't know who we won against to be honest. We drew against QPR. We drew 3-3 against Southampton, which was a very good game honestly it really was a good game against Southampton we now sit nine points behind Burnley we have a game against Millsboro who are currently five points ahead of us we can close that gap if we win that we also have the round three of the FA Cup in which we finally play a big six club in England and it's not under the than Manchester United they are coming home to Wakefield Park so we'll be playing them in today's episode as well. And to kick things off, we before we get into the match, we have the final scout report of the months of the uh, th the three nations in here. And uh, it's honestly looking like we are not getting anyone from Spain. So we say goodbye to Spain. Going over to Chile. This guy has a good overall potential. Not so great there. And then this guy, good overall potential. Not so great there. So nothing from Chile. And then over towards Norway, which I kind of wish we got more talent. A $2 million for him. We'll bring him in. And then other than that, not good enough talent in there as well. Let's go quickly check out that guy now. Let's see what he is looking like. Where is he? What was he? He is a striker. 67 rated striker. Is he a striker? He is is more than likely a striker maybe even a winger in all honesty and probably is a winger yeah he definitely is a winger so we're gonna put him on the left hand side a left winger there for him and we're gonna send these scouts out to three more nations for the rest of the season in fact we're gonna go six months with these nations and one of them actually all three of them are gonna be different nations that aren't in the game and the three nations we have chosen is Belize, Trinidad and Tobago, and the Brunei do also. I'm not going to try to say that. Just Brunei. We are going there for three months. All for six. Not for three months. Actually, all for six months. And then after that, we are going to be at the end of the season pretty much. It's time now to go into the season. We are strikerless at the start of this episode. We have to go ahead and promote one of our current strikers that are in the Youth Academy as Ponce has left out on loan. So it is looking like Renato Correa is going to get the call up to the first team here. We also promote Guzman from the Youth Academy. He was a CDM. We transitioned him into a center back. He grew plus 2 to 72. He's going to replace Weston. Weston has been the club captain. He's been the longest, ser longest serving player in this team that I can remember. And he's been great, but he's kind of fallen off recently. He is 22 years old. I mean, he's still quite young. He still can grow. But as of right now, he hasn't really been doing the job. So he's going to go ahead and get dropped for this game. Ruiz is also going to get dropped for Gonzalez. Because Gonzalez was great last, last episode as well against Southampton. Richie is probably going to end up being our long-term left winger at the moment. With Czech, Alves, and Bowden, Diada all switching out on the right-hand side. Maybe even Rodriguez as well. But Rodriguez is at the cam for now. And Lombardi is our starting striker with Correa right behind him there on the bench. This is against Middlesbrough at the Riverside Stadium. Let's see if we can go ahead and close that five-point gap to two. Blosser into Jones, back to Vermeeren, Vermeeren into Belarsa, now into Latte, Lot into Edu, Edu into Belosser, into Latte, and it's 1-0 for Middlesbrough. Yo, into towards Lombardi, Lombardi into Varela, 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 1-1! And Varela Travella is finally back on the score sheet, what seems like after forever. Righty, guys. Rodriguez into Varela. Varela now. Varela from distance. He's already got one. Nearly getting a second. That was just off target. Lombardi showing that ball for a big touch from Clark. He does. Lombardi now out wide for check. Checks in the box here. It's still with check. Check with the shot. Check with the lead. Wakefield are up 2-1 here against Middlesbrough. Closing that gap to five. To three, actually. Nope, to five. Never mind. My brain is it to two. We're five points behind. It'll be to two. Lombardi wins that ball back. Mayor out wide to check. Check now in two is Rodriguez. Rodriguez cut back. Check should win that second ball. He does. He'll lay it off to Sykes. 
Sykes, can you find that into the box to Lombardi? He'll head it into Vidella. Vidella's shot, and that's 3-1. And Wakefield are in control of this game now. Good ball in from Sykes. A good header over to Vidella. And 3-1 now. Lombardi will come off a new boy, Kadea. Bowden's going to get some game time here at right mid. And even Richie. Richie seems like he has permanent stamina. Like, what is his stamina? He has 79 stamina. I guess we're not using him as much. He didn't come on at Cam. And Alves out wide. Or no, Alves out wide. Not the other. Alves out wide. And we will also put wet. Bowden on the right here. He'll lose the ball, but it'll be a throw in for him anyway. Sykes into Mayor. Mayor into Bowden. Bowden in towards Richie. Richie now. Richie into Videla. Videla's on a hat trick. Videla gets his hat trick. It's 4 1 now against Middlesbrough. And we are in complete, complete control here. In fact, we're in so much control that I'm just going to jump to the end of the game. And we win 5-1. Richie adds the fifth. Who got man of the match? It had to be Videla, right? It just had to be Videla with 9.4 or 9.7 even. Lombardi had 9.8. I'm giving it to Videla because he had a hat trick. So Videla, man of the match as well. That would be plus three stats for him. A couple players have returned from loan. Said is back from loan. Cadillac is back from loan. And then Yago Vieira is also back from loan. Now these three were absolutely horrific. They haven't been growing even when they've been on loan in all honesty. So Vieira has been released. Not Sykes. Said has been released. And who was the last one? I remember it because it would be like 50 overall somewhere. Cadillac, he will go ahead and be released as well because they just weren't good enough they have no future at this club anywhere let's go and get a loan report anyway as well Clement's a plus five at cam Villa is a plus two Jermaine is a plus three Parter hasn't grown at all Figueroa has a plus four Texera a plus one Ramos a plus three Pedersen a plus one we're supposed to bring him back from loan I think I'm just gonna keep him on loan at Burnley and Ponce is a press one as well Blake Thorpe has been sold to SK Rapid for 730k and I believe Shabala has also been sold as well or he's on the verge of being sold for 1.1 million to an MLS club. They just didn't have a future at the team and I would finally sell Shabaloba after being transfer listed for ne nearly five and there goes Shabala. He has been sold, I believe, to New York City FC, if I'm not mistaken, for like 1.1 million, somewhere around there. It is New York City as well for 1.150 million. His services here at the club are now over. This is your starting 11 to take on Manchester United. And in fact, actually, before we get to that, I'm going to have to fix that. Does this show me their starting 11? It does. There's Pedro Gonzalez, Orban, Anthony, Mason Mount, Van de Beek, Bruno Gamaish, Fran Garcia, Minier, Araujo, Ba, and Onana Arnett. They have Tushmini on the bench as well as Vanderson, Alste, McNeil, Neves, Vanderson, obviously John Stones. That's incredible there as well. We are going to go ahead and take on Manchester United in the champ not the champions league in the fa cup which is absolutely insane i didn't think i didn't think i'd actually play a team in the big six it seemed like it was never gonna happen until we actually got into the premier league and played them there but here we go it's wakefield against manchester united leave a like and subscribe the mountain here comes Manchester United and here comes Anthony now into Orban Orban with the shots 1-0 for Man United their first attack they score Sykes out oh, check now checking the ball it's checking the box it's check can we get a kickoff goal it's exactly what we do check with a kickoff goal it's 1-1 and Manchester United have that son Look at this, look at this finish from Videla. Just look at the finish here. The Travella, the curve, side of the net is beautiful. Short corner to Anthony. Anthony into Orban. Orban now, 
Orban, Orban, Veda, where are you going? Orban doubles his goal tally. It's 2-1 now. Van de Beek, Van de Beek into Pedro. Pedro gets loose. Pedro shoots. Pedro scores. And Man United are controlling the game now. It's 3-1. Anthony now. Anthony. Mason Mount, Mason Mount, Orban, hat trick for Orban. It's 4 1 now for Manchester United. They're running away with it. Anthony, they want to make it 5 before halftime. This is exactly what they do. It's 5 1 against Manchester United. It's Pedro Gonzalez to take it. It's Pedro to score. It's 6 1 now. Correa will come on for Lombardi. Pedro Gonzalez gets past multiple defenders. Now to beat the keeper. First shot, no. Second shot, yes. It's 7-1 against Manchester United. This is the biggest humbling ever. Alves now. It's Alves. Can we get something out of this game? Alves into Correa. Correa shot. It's in the back of the net. We at least get one. I mean, we got two goals, but still. Kadea gets his first goal for the club. That's a only good takeaway to take away from this. Richie into Kadea. Kadea could get two. Kadea does get two. Only if we didn't concede seven and only conceded three. We'd be back to back. We're making it somewhat a little bit more respectable. Still 7-3 is absolutely pounding. Losing by four goals is unacceptable. A 7-3 loss against Manchester United in the FA Cup. That is absolutely just humbling beyond belief. Orban, we couldn't stop this guy. He had four goals. That was absolutely insane. Well then, for all the time I've been wanting to play a big six club, we play one and we get absolutely smashed. And it's probably by one of the worst ones as well. Current worst ones. And... Thank God, thank God that wasn't a championship game because that would be absolutely awful. We're out of the FA Cup. We no longer have to focus on that. It was a good good experience for the fans at home, kind of, not really. But we lose 7-3. That is terrible. We now have to focus and try and get these boys back on track in the championship against Preston, who are currently one point above us in that ninth spot. We have to win that, go above them. We are now, what, six points behind Watford, so we are catching up to the playoff spots closely. It's still very tight. It still could go either way. And a must-win game here against Preston. Reese. Weston trying to defend. It's Reese now into Stewart. It's 1-0 for Preston. Diotta. Diotta and Correa. Correa now in behind. Correa has Richie with him. He's going to find him. And Richie off the post into the back of the net. It's 1-1. We level things up here against Preston. Reese. Stewart. Stewart shot into the back of the net. Stewart has a brace. It's 2-1 for Preston. Alves on the corner. Lombardi on the header. No second ball. Can he get there? No. It's cleared up the field. Referee, don't blow your whistle. It's 2-1 loss against Preston. And we changed Jacobson from a striker to a left winger. And he jumps up from 67 to 76 overall. That is absolutely massive from him. He might come in instantly play as left winger over check. And we end the episode there with a loss against Hull City as well. So three losses in a row. 7-3 <laughs> loss against United. 2-1 against Preston. 1-0 against Hull on simulation. And then 2-2 against Milan. Milani? Against Mill. When we come back, we have Norwich, Burnley, Brest, uh, Breston, Bristol City, West Brom, Ipswich. Maybe even to April. I'll see y'all there. But for now, it's been an absolute disaster of an episode. Back again. Peace out. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'm out.